Hi there guys! Welcome back to my channel and today I will teach you how to make a survey form, a quiz form, or a registration form. Lahat sila pare parehas na. Thank you so much and do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. Here we go! Okay, so welcome back to my channel. This is your teacher, Teacher Daryl Nagmundo. And today, I will teach you how to make an online survey. Actually, this is a dual part. I will teach you also how to make an online quiz using your Google Forms. Not just in your laptop, but also in your mobile phones. Let's start. Step 1. Make an email. It's either Gmail or Yahoo can be personal or given by the school. Personal emails are needed in making online forms app. This is where the responses goes. So it's very important. Step 2. Download the application forms app. Okay, do not forget it. And this is what it looks like. It can be downloaded to the Google Store. Okay, from the Google Store in your smartphones. So that is what it looks like in your smartphones. Step 3. Explore the application so you can make a survey form and at the same time you can make it as a quiz form so those are my existing files as you can see I have there some like registration forms I have there like this is a registration form and this is a quiz and another quiz okay and survey then Click the plus button to make a new form document. So I always use that one so that I can, you know, customize and personalize my own Google Forms. Okay, so and this is what the blank form looks like. So let's start working. So again, click the plus button and add some options. So, step 5. Google Forms has its own template, but for me, I will always choose to create a blank form. Okay. Okay, so in step 4, after you click the plus button, you will see there are a lot of templates there. There are seminar feedback such as this one. Okay. And we have course feedback, post event, so on and so forth. But for me, I always choose to create blank form. So there are ready-made forms for quizzes and feedbacks, but I always choose to create a blank form to customize for your own survey form or quiz form. Okay? Then, step 5. When you click that plus button, now you can start working. And this is what a blank form looks like okay so what are you going to do next is that you are going to click the plus button again to add some options okay next step six so these are the options that you can see after clicking the plus button so we have short answer long answer multiple choice check boxes drop down this is just the part one okay short answer is used for names gender age and etc if you want to uh, have a short answer whatever it is like it's like an sms something like that uh, that's okay then long answer is used for making sentences paragraphs in essay or in explanations multiple choice is used for having an options in a question Check boxes is used for checking the box for selection. And drop down used to have more options when you click the down button. Next, the options part two. So here we have a linear scale, we have multiple choice grid, date, time, and then add section. Linear scale is used to measure a question using numbers. Multiple choice grid is used to make choices in a row or in columns. Date is used to include questions answerable by dates. Time is used to answer the questions answerable by time. And then last, 
add section is used to have more sections in your forms. Step 7. Let's get it on. So, after you put the title or the title of the topic and you put some all of the information there, you will see there you can type the title of your research or your survey form or the topic and then you can add some description about the research or the topic or your survey and then do not forget to click the required button so that they will not go to the next part without even answering that blank question or blank part okay then make your own questions and add some options about regarding your research and topic so this is what it looks like this is an example of a checkbox yes no maybe so it can be also in multiple choices and again you can add option over here and then required button you will see the required button when you are done in a red asterisk. Okay. To add more options such as questions and more, again, click this plus button. Step 8. Almost done. You will see there will a window, a prompt that will prompt form settings. So you can see there when you click the submit form settings will appear okay first you can see there you can click the box if you want to get the email out of your respondents you can click the box if you want to answer it once by a single respondent click the box if you want to edit the response of your respondents and click the box if you want to view the summary of your respondents and then that's when the time is submitted okay that when you submit it, step 9, you can now view your survey form. And this is what it looks like. It will open to your Google Chrome. Okay, so if you have your Google Chrome, if you Internet Explorer, it will open up over there. Okay, so that you can view your Google Forms. It's either a survey, it's either a quiz, or so on and so forth. Okay, then let's go to the part two. Now I will teach you how to make online quiz. So this is very, very important in such time as this because all you need to do is to copy the URL or the link and then you send it to your students. Okay, and then that's when the time they can answer and you will get the desired results and some of the graphic and visual results of your students so you can get their scores immediately after answering okay are you ready let's go so in making your online quiz just follow the step one up to step nine okay same as the way we make our online survey okay just follow step nine Step 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and so on, so forth. Step 1 to 9. Okay? Then and this is what you're going to do. Go to the Google Form app. Click View Form. This is what View Form looks like. Okay? Click View Form. And then click the Edit icon. It is the Edit icon. There you go. The Edit icon. Then when you edit it, next part is that. Click the three dots to edit the form. This is the three dots. Okay, this is the three dots. When you click that, this will appear the settings icon. You will see the settings icon over there. Okay, you have preview settings, okay, undo, star, so on and so forth. You will click the settings icon. And then when you click the settings icon, it will bring you to this part. Okay. You will see the general settings you can modify it whatever you want limit to one response or if you want to make your respondents or your students have a lot of quiz then go ahead but for me i always limit it to one response and then when you click the presentation and the next part you can modify also the presentation settings you will see there the progress bar shuffle questions order Okay, I usually shuffle the questions because 
my students are you know <laughs> they're cheating okay then the last part which is very important the quiz button over here okay turn on the make this a quiz button and this is what turn on the make this a quiz button there you go and immediately after each submission they will see their scores okay and for you to know what and how will you put the scoring watch this okay thank you for listening for our online survey and online quizzes this is teacher daryl del mundo do not forget to like share and subscribe and if you have any suggestion just comment down below thank you very much god bless